I'm going to try to watch the time so I know I'm only taking 10 minutes. Um, I, uh, I've been thinking a lot about the fact that today everything is for sale. And yet, I think that we are constantly being deluded about the real price of things. And so I've been concerned in my own work and in my teaching somewhat in focusing on trying to deal with issues that have to do with money and finance and capitalism. Um, several years ago, I made a CD-ROM called Developing the Idea of Home, and I researched um, issues concerned with housing. I think that shelter is a basic human right, and um, the whole cycle of boom and bust and inflated real estate prices has been with us for a very, very long time. I think as an artist, um, it's interesting to try to take the issues and subjects that people really um, either feel that they can't understand or they really feel like they're so horrific that they don't want to look at them and um, frame them somehow so that they, they can be approached because that in that way then they can be changed. Um, I'm going to just show you a couple of examples of um, uh, projects I've been involved with and the first one uh, included Evelyn and um, it was uh, in Pasadena uh, the end of March and it was called The Long Weekend and it was um, an event that was made possible by an organization called Phantom Galleries of LA which uh, takes over empty commercial space and makes it available to artists and so uh, Joseph Santamorano and I invited other artists to um, design projects, either installations or performances, for the windows of an empty furniture store. And I've made a short, very short document of that project, and I wanted to um, show it to you before I do. I just want to say that by the time everything was ready and the first night um, took place, I was really exhausted. And I thought, oh God, I hate my own idea. <laughs> and, um, but people's work was so fantastic and, and there was just this, this um, environment of um, everybody just being there and, and doing what they wanted to do for no other reason that they wanted to do it, and they wanted to see it and realize that there was no product, there was nothing to sell. And the idea that we started out with was to get back to the roots of you know, giving the art away and putting it out there for the public, just people who were walking by. And by Sunday, I just felt high. I was just so excited, I couldn't believe it. So, I don't know that these, um, this small video document will really convey that, but I'll try to tell you a little bit about some of the works in the show. So if we could please show the video number one, the Phantom Galleries. Thank you. 
by uh, Jordan Byron, and for three hours, these two people practically didn't move. And everybody thought they knew exactly what this was about. And just did um, And Joey and William were just sort of contemplating. And they had this crowd, it was a video projection, looking back at the prize uh, harvested citrus from um, unharvested trees around Pasadena and on Friday she made juice and then she would come out and serve it to the public. It's a very generous season. People were really surprised and delighted to be offered a little classic fresh grapefruit juice. And Daniel Nord, I guess his piece went by really fast. He had a fabulous piece that um, featured a film on the town, which had a ballerina on point painting delicately on a canvas. And over that were quotations of overheard conversations at art fairs. Hmm, isn't she showing with such and such? <laughs> how, much, how much is her art selling for? Things like that, really fabulous. <laughs> so, so um, that this this project sort of comes from my roots. Um, when I was in school, I studied with Robert Irwin, and um, I have to say that he and Larry Bell just sort of saved my life. And their attitude was, you know, that there's a context for the work of art. If you're putting art in a space, then the whole space is the work of art. And it's just a little step from that to believe that then there's a social context. And that's part of the work of art as well. And so that's what I've been interested in. And also when I was at Irvine, we had a really crummy gallery space. It had a clock and walkers in it. That's why Chris and I locked himself in the locker because they were there. 